Hi everyone, it's Karen. Um, sorry that I um, have been a little MIA last week. Um, and I, I have a story and I will tell it to you. Um, what we are going to make today, um, we're going to make a yellow, um, technically we're making a bumblebee yellow Easter basket. And we're gonna finish a bright pink, I guess it's not pink, it's magenta madness maybe. Magenta madness, because it is bright. Um, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna, um, hopefully we'll have four baskets that are all made by the end of this video. And that's because two are already done. And another one is three quarters of the way done. So um, I also wanted to, um, I have four, three or four more baskets that are very simple to do and um, to put like a little gift card in, um, I mean, yeah, gift card to a store or something, you know, for your kids that aren't necessarily waiting for the Easter Bunny, but still enjoy a gift. So let's get started. Okay, so these are the two actually, baby ducks back in there, my chicks. Actually, this one I made a few years ago when we had the Gingham Gala, which I still have and still love, um, paper. And then for um, the label, I use little Peter Rabbit guy. But you know, he's retired, but I do still have him. So technically, we could break the rules. But if we're not gonna break the rules, we have springtime joy. So, um, let's get started. I did do all of my cutting, but I will give you every measurement, um, and I will list it all below. Um, I do have to start my blog. Oh, I'll probably look at you. I do have to start my blog. I have not started it because my daughter's getting married in a month, and I am in charge of making all um, the bouquets, the boutonnieres, the corsages, and a couple of table um, flowers. And um, I've let it go a little bit long, yes, but in my defense, had I already done it, because first of all, it was a 200 person wedding for October. I know I'm looking weird, but for some reason, I feel like I need to look at myself, but I don't like to do that, so I don't know why, to put a picture of somebody up there. Um, so 200 person wedding in um, October, which then turned into a um, 200 person wedding in February, and now is a 15 person wedding in April. So had I started on time, I would have eight, nine, 10 bouquets to do, um, 10 boutonnieres, and five or six corsages. Um, so, see, I just saved myself some work. So, um, I, I will be making some of those um, things on here um, probably next week. Um, yeah, so if you wanna see that, I'll let you know when it is and you can pop by. So, are we ready to start now? All right, so we have our two little guys from last year and a couple weeks ago. I have been working on my Magenta Madness one, which I've changed a few things, so that part is good. And today we are now doing um, our Bumble Bee. So, sorry about that. Um, this is what you're gonna need. You are gonna need two squares that are two and a half by two and a half. You are going to need 12 of these little guys that are three by a half. And they don't technically have to be exact, but you don't want them really any shorter. And then you just need a bunch of these long ones, which we need to weave which I could have made longer, made them longer, but I think it only takes two to go around the basket and um, the 
embossing folder is not very big because I emboss them all with the basket weave embossing folder, which I don't have, I borrowed it. But these two, I did not make, come on, ducky. I did not make either of these with the um, basket weave embossing folder, so you don't need it to make this. So I have five strips written down, but I made a bunch more. Um, you then need a solid guy for the handle. In fact, I think this is not the right one. This is a little thicker. And then you're gonna need DSP to go on top. And um, that is it. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is find our glue because, oh, here's some. I don't know where my green glue is. You know, you go through your list 50 times and you say, oh, I, I definitely got everything. Never, ever, ever is that correct. So, I've got these scissors, but I do wanted to tell you about my other scissors I'm in love with. Oh, here they are. And you probably saw them on Facebook. They are called, it's GR... Oh, you were, well, let me put glasses on. That might help us. There you go. Uh, G-U-O-O-B-N-M-E-I-N. Anyway, the ad says to try it. If you don't like them, you can keep them, and they'll send you a new pair plus your money back. And this outrageous claim, and I have definitely gotten scammed this past year um, on Facebook and on YouTube, mostly Facebook and PayPal. <laughs> I just cut my thumb. Don't play with scissors, people. Um, PayPal said they investigated it, but I just have to get a band aid. Hang on. <laughs> we'll just wrap it and see if that will stop. Um, they investigated it, but because they gave me a um, tracking number, then I must be in the wrong. Which, why would, I just don't know why I would do call them and say, oh no, I never got it if I did. And I'm sure some people do do that, but I don't. So it was kind of frustrating. All right, before I bleed all over everything. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the long, the short strip, sorry. And they are, you're gonna put three on each side of your, <laughs> um, three on each side of your square. So basically what you wanna do is bend them up just about half an inch and just try and bend them all the same. I did score them on the magenta one, but you just, <laughs> please. Okay, I need a Band-Aid, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. So scissors are very sharp. And um, I will be keeping this so blood on the paper, it's mine and I'm fine with that. Um, scissors are very sharp, which is why I love them. So anyway, just about the scissors. When you see the ad, it is true. The scissors are incredible. And um, I bought two more pairs. And then I bought, or I got it free maybe, a, a little pair of little uh, you know, do a little cutting. So, okay, I'm no longer bleeding on my project. That's good. So basically you wanna bend them all roughly the same. Just enough so that you can glue it to the bottom without, oh, maybe we just keep glue dots. Um, just so we can glue it without their, um, having a reason that it would wanna like pop off because there's not enough glue or anything. So anyway, we're gonna put it here. So you want, I do the four corners first, um, and then I go and put one in the middle of everything. So. I'm 
trying to, oh, see the other thing that I've done, and it's not like I've only done it once, I've done it over and over and over again, is not put the pretty side out. So you wanna make sure you put your pretty side out. So basically this is what, I wish I knew where my green blue was, cause that would be easier. You guys going anywhere, you got something to do? Let me look for one second. And if we don't find it, I will use whatever I have. So, anyway, I do have a story we could start as I look. Let me leave that. Um, my dogs have, okay, we're just going with what we got. My dogs have gotten the habit of getting up in the middle of the night, anywhere between two and three. So, um, I have been getting up with them because my husband goes out to work and I do this work at home. Um, so I got up and I grabbed my, this is what I do every day because they get up early. I grab my sweatpants and I put them over my shoulder, come downstairs, I let them out. And then um, when they come back in, I go to the bathroom, put my pants on. So I let them out and Gunner, our miniature um, dachshund, um, he started barking crazy. And I could tell he was at the end of our property, which is not close. We do have a kind of a big backyard. So he, um, I called him and called him and called him and he would not come, like refused to come. So I um, came in the house. I had a flashlight, but I came in the house to get shoes because we had snow and ice still on this day. So I um, came in, I got my L.L. Bean moccasins and went back out. And I took three steps on the grass with a little bit of snow and then hit ice. And those shoes are not made for ice. And I landed on my knee really hard. And then I tried to get up, but I couldn't. Every time I tried to get up, my, I would fall right back down on, on that same knee. So eventually it dawned on me that I am out in my backyard in a t-shirt and underwear, but in a t-shirt and that I had pants and they were leggings draped over my shoulder. So I grabbed those and laid them on the ground. I was able to stand up and I'm hobbling back to the garage and I look up and there's my husband also in his underwear and his work jacket, he's a mechanic, and work boots. And he's like, what are you doing? And I said, I fell and I had blood pouring down my knee and my elbow. And I just, can you imagine if one of the neighbors saw the flashlight, heard me calling the dog that is barking his head off, and apparently between me trying to get up, um, the dog decided that he was gonna be in trouble and apparently went in the house because I was still looking for him. But at that point, I had no problem leaving him out there. But I thought maybe it could be a coyote or, cause it's not like that happened, you know, hasn't happened before because it has. So anyway, so, my husband is now running around looking for first aid kits and deciding if I need stitches, and which I knew I didn't. It just was very badly beaten up, I would call it. So, um, yeah, so that was, and you know, the next day after all of this falling, you know, all of your muscles hurt. Like, they're not meant to be doing anything other at, at my age and my weight. They're just supposed to help me get through, through the day, but sorry, I need my diet coke. Um, so that's where my videos were all last week. I was just in so much pain um, that I just couldn't think straight. And it's funny because 
I was thinking, I like to tell stories as we craft together. Okay, little note here. So basically, we've got three on each side. And this is where the second square comes into play. You want to flip this over. Oh, no, yeah, okay. And we just want to, um, I don't know why this glue is so watery. Um, okay, so we just want to cover up the mess because we're trying to make pretty here. I should have something on my table. Now let's see how many times, oh, I did it. All of the good sides are on the out. Okay, so now we're gonna take these longer strips and we're gonna start weaving them. So to start it, I'm gonna just get a few glue drop dots, not drops. I think they're kind of like drops. But anyway, so my plan with this video um, was that I was going to try and decide how to get the, I've got to cut the blood off, hang on. So I was going to tell the story about this summer. I was, we have this, well, I guess we should start with, my husband snores so badly that I don't know what time it was, but I got up and I went downstairs and this was, he was on vacation, so it was in July. And so what we wanna do is, I like to start on a corner and we're just gluing it right to the bottom of our thing. And then you wanna hold these up and the, you wanna bend it to go around the corner. So I just was over, so now we're going under. And I don't glue on every single one, but I do put little dabs here and there, or I will put a glue dot. Because whatever the two are that are opposite of what the middle is, they kind of hold each other up. So we did under over, oh, yes, under, sorry. So basically we are going under over under all the way around. And we should only be doing it for three levels. Um, okay. So anyway, it was around 2 a.m., 3. And we have a smoke detector that's hardwired into our house. And um, it is so incredibly loud that you, can, you can't really hear anything else but it. So it went off. And my husband works a lot of hours and he was on vacation. And I really, in my state of almost tiredness or asleep, I might've been asleep, I don't know. I um, decided that I would run downstairs and I would shut it off before it woke him up. And if you knew how loud this was, clearly he was gonna be woken up. So I, um, got to almost the end of the, I'm not even sure what happened, but what I think happened was I was running down the stairs. There was stuff on the stairs, but I'm not sure if that came into play at all. But I decided, I didn't decide. I ended up, okay, little note here. So we have gone around one side, two sides, and then we're gonna start on our third side wherever we ended. Okay, so. I'm doing good at remembering to, uh, I'm gonna use a glue dot. So I got to near the bottom and I guess I just didn't, I missed the last few steps. And it's one of those falls where you know it's gonna hurt and you somehow have enough time to think it's gonna hurt. I believe I said a curse word also as I knew I was gonna land. And um, yeah, so I landed on my face. I don't know where my hands were at the time, but they were not with me. I landed on my face and my, I don't know what else, but I was in so much pain. So a few minutes later, my son came down because now the fire thing is still going off and it does it when it's humid. I don't know why. I'm sure there's a reason that I maybe would have known in school, but now I don't. So um, my son came running down 
and I'm laying on the floor and I know there's blood and I was just, I remember saying, get me something to wash this blood. Now I landed on my face, my head, but I'm concerned about the cellar floor. Like, not the kitchen floor, the, the basement, the cellar. I'm concerned there's glue on the basement floor. So, being a great kid, he shut the circuit breaker, and then um, he went and got me a towel <laughs> to wipe the floor. He helped me get up. I got up the stairs, and I said, don't wake up Dad. He's tired. Don't, don't tell him. And my son's like, I think you broke your nose. Did you break your nose? I'm like, I don't think so. I don't know. Well, yeah, I broke my nose. I broke my foot. I broke my nose. Um, and scraped up and every muscle again, killing me. And um, I ended up, we went to the hospital. I had CAT scans and whatnot and this. And I, did you, although asking me if I blacked out, and then I said no. And they're like, well, how do you know? And I'm like, I don't know. You're the doctor. Well, I don't think I did because my son came down right at, like nobody would have kept sleeping through that noise. So eventually my husband got up and he saw me and I'm like, um, do you think we, should, we could go to the hospital for my foot? And he said, well, no, but we can certainly go for your face. And I'm like, well, okay, thanks. So it turned out that I did break my foot. And I'm, tr I'm trying to start all of the strips at the same place, so that will just be the one back piece. I've done it the other way with staggering them. And it doesn't, I'm looking at this blue one, it doesn't seem to hold as well. You can't have chocolate, sorry. I don't think it holds as well, so when you put all that pressure on one piece. So I just started the next corner, and that was on top. So needless to say, found out I broke my foot, broke my nose, and just in kind of not happy pain. And of course, my husband's on vacation. We had plans to do something, not much, because we, my kids are older now, but when they were young, we gave them the choice of either, um, unless it's going behind, sorry, over, under, over, under, um, either getting a pool or we could go on a little vacation every year. So, you know, they voted on the pool, which was fine until they got to their, you know, teenage years. And then, you know, they'd have a couple of friends over here or there. And so, needless to say, we never really went on vacations. My husband and I have been on a couple of cruises, but we didn't go till after the kids were out of college. We bathed, God, I'm bleeding through the Band-Aid now. Um, the sacrifices we make for crafting. So, um, we've been on a couple of cruises, but, you know, I mean, we also went away for a weekend down the Cape. We live in Massachusetts. So we did um, go down the Cape a few times, but not like a real vacation. And um, we, my daughter's wedding is this year. So we thought, this year, it's in a month. So we thought, well, we'll go after, because we'll be broke anyway, paying for the wedding. So why not just keep going? Because, um, yeah, why not? We're already spending all that money. And um, then COVID. And I, my daughter, she's been a trooper after rescheduling and rescheduling. Um, I'm wondering if I need stitches. Oh my Lord. So anyway, that was the story I planned on telling you. But then I fall a lot, and I don't know why that is. And, um, oh, shoot. Anyway, back to the project. We are still going around, over and under. Why is this not right? This is another thing I've done, and 
it will happen and it's not a big deal because no one's gonna know but you. But I do make mistakes here and there, especially when I'm talking, um, where this was behind, this is over. Oh, that one's right. Okay, but I do miss it sometimes and one of them goes over when they're supposed to go under and it's not a big deal. This would be so much better with the green glue. And I love this glue. I just don't know why it's so watery. If anybody knows why my glue is watery, let me know. All right, so here we are, third row, second row. Um, and, oh, we've also, we, one of um, my students, um, she, I have a lot of yard sales, scrapbooking ones, because I seem to accumulate a lot of stuff. So she would come to them every year, and I asked her, do you know anybody interested, you know, on helping me straighten out my craft room? And she would, I'll do it, I'll do it. And I'm like, no, I don't want you to do it. I'm asking if I know someone. So she is a trooper. She really... Um, I, I don't think she'd mind if I told her. She's got, she's young. She has breast cancer. She's had a hysterectomy. She's got all kinds of um, different issues. And she comes two days a week. And she called me yesterday because she comes Tuesdays and Thursdays. And she called me and, or texted me. And, she's, and I didn't see my phone, but when I realized it was late and she usually would be here by now, I got nervous, so I looked at it. Well, first I had to find my phone under this. See, because it looks very clean right here. But looks can be very deceiving. Um, and she had said she had gotten her first COVID shot, and she just did not feel good. And she says, well, do you mind if I... I'm like, no, I don't mind if you don't come. But I gotta say, my craft room is coming along. We've organized... Um, a Stampin' Up! ribbon section because I don't put my Stampin' Up! ribbon with my regular ribbon because it's not worthy. So um, we got that done. I've been labeling. I don't know if you guys do this or not, but a lot of demonstrators where, you know, they're always talking about, I'm going to cut this little piece off because I would be going... Um, under that, right? Under, over, under. Yeah, so I'd be going under it, so I didn't want it long. And on these corners, and this is not a neat job right now. My thumb is hurting. Um, so on the corners, you just want to make sure that they look a little neat. And there are definitely times where it's going to end in a bad spot, and you can't cover it, um, which is no big deal. Again, no one's going to notice except for you, which is a good thing because we should all take pride in what we make and not let it fall all over your craft room floor. And I'm trying to be better about that. I really am. So what was my next point? Anyway, she's such a great help to me. And so she's getting a lot of my leftovers that are, you know, they are stamp sets that are not current, but they've never been used and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to double over once because I would have ended like halfway on this. So I'm just going to go over this one right here so I can end it where the strip is and it will look neat. And then I'll start again on the next row, which is our final row. So we're gonna chop this and then, and you see how much better it is ending here instead of ending in the middle. And please look past the blood. Okay, so this is gonna be our final strip. So I'm going to, well, how long have we been? I'll go a little bit further, but I was gonna finish my Magenta Madness one, but we can soldier on right here. Speaking of which, do you guys watch on 
YouTube when the soldiers come home and they surprise their kids at school and oh my lord I'm telling you I cry every single time and then there's the ones that they don't have children but they're dogs and they're gone you know they have these dogs and they've gone for um what did I do now Karen um I think I need to go over with you yes that's it um their dogs certainly do not forget them and they go crazy but I also love when they surprise the moms and it's just such a great thing to watch all these people serving our country all right so we're turning a corner here I'm going to shove a little bit of glue in here and hope that camera angle is good you can let me know um because I'm at my kitchen table so I can't really do much to fix that and I have no idea what I'm going to use when I go in my craft room because I'll you know, I've been doing videos for, I don't know, 10 or 15 years or something. And then I would be in the hospital, so I would be missing for a couple of years. And then I started stamping up, and then I stopped because I was sick and going back in the hospital. All that fun stuff. Um, and in the meantime, my room is off my kitchen, so it's not just my... Uh, desk or table, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not that just that is the catch-all. Everything is the catch-all. I mean, everything. Um, see, right here, I'm sorry, right here, I have an under and an under, and no one's going to see it, because we're going to tie ribbons, we're going to put a, a greeting, so we're going to get past it, and no one will know except for you, and you will beat yourself up. And clearly this with blood all over it is not going to anyone, which is why we should probably just move on to, but I want to show what, what we do at the top. So let's fudge it. Okay, so say, let me glue this so better. Okay. Oh, of course, I'm going to leave a hole. Hang on, I can't leave it like that. All right. Oh, so I started to tell you about a lot of the demonstrators were talking about how, first of all, I don't know if you noticed, but when you get your stamp and die order, if you look closely... Well, not even closely. If you look at your die set, they don't just give you dies that match what is in the stamp, what, you know, part of the stamp set. They give you um, extra pieces. And if you leave them in certain cases, and this is what I found, you don't know to look to see what's left. Sorry. So you don't know what comes in a die set because you're assuming it's whatever was. But I'm going to chop these down just like in half. So by taking the stamps out, and I'll show you how I did it. Um, what? Oh, no, I didn't. I'll do it when I'm done. Or can you call? My um, heat, apparently. Can just call them. My son is um, yelling right now at me. I apologize if you hear that. Um, he's lecturing me because the one thing I had to do, in his opinion, today was to call the heat company. But there's no big deal because I can call tomorrow. Or he's 27. He could call. So anyway, we're going to cut these down, and this is what I wanted to show you about the top, was these tops, either you're going to fold them 
over like this, which is going to give you a really nice finished end. And if they're the other way, which is this one, we're going to fold them into the basket. I don't know if you can see that. So I have bent this piece over, this piece under. Let me find an over piece. Okay, this piece right here, we're going to fold it over. And you just want to make sure it's lined up with the rest. Can you see that? I hope so. So this is what's left. We're folding that over. And then this one is going to get folded under. So moving on to pink. So this is what the top of the basket looks like because you have folded over or into um, the basket. A little bit of glue right here. So this is what happens when you can take your time and do things properly and you don't bleed all over it. All right, so oh, this one should have been folded over. You know, it's just one of those things. I should get my undo out, but I'm not sure. I'm going to leave it because I think it's a glue dot. I'm going to leave it. Um, I don't know if you guys know what undo is, and I have done... A video on it and I do not so we'll crook it if you want to be over more um, I do not stamp craft scrapbook without it and I'll if I remember I will show you at the end okay so this is going to be the handle which is um, the handle is roughly six inches by three quarters of an inch. And it is bigger than you need. I just like to have extra. And I don't know if you know this, but if you kind of just do this to your cardstock, it really curls for you so that you know that you can pull it without getting a kink in a bent. So now you pick your prettiest side. Well, you're really picking your ugliest side, which would be this one. Although that's a pretty one. Yep, this one is it. So I attach it on the inside. I have done it before with brads or staples. People do it with, I don't like the staple, but I do, I did, I have done it with brads and grommets and you know when those things were, you'd use those for everything. It was, and I have bags and bags and bags because I actually sadly have filled out filled up my um, son Jason's room with, and it's clearly full, um, with things I need to sell. I have probably a hundred or so sets of stamps. I have um, Copic markers. I, I mean, tons of stuff. Oh, shoot. No, we don't do this yet. See, this is a good time for undo. Can't reach them. And we can still do a whole, I'll show you, but so this, ladies and gentlemen, is undo. This will, um, I hate the new covers. Like, I understand about children and whatnot, but okay, maybe to do it with the thumb up oh, okay so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm I put there are glue dots holding this part oh, sorry glue dots right here that are holding this thing on if I pull it I am gonna rip my basket so I'm gonna take my undo and gently squeeze because it comes out quick so it's gonna go onto the paper and it takes it completely off that fast and the best part is that when this side dries, I'll probably cut it, but I'll show you after. The, the glue dots will get sticky again. So you just use them again. You know, you just go about your business. But I'll show you on a wider scale after we do this. I'll dump it out. All right, so you want to put your little stripe on here um, before you... Um, I think, Karen, before
before you attach it to your basket. See? Brain just can't stop for a minute. Alright, so. Let me cut this off. But we are going to revisit this, so stay there. And we're going to attach this. And we want to clearly get the same spaces. probably be doing this on my paper trimmer so it's straight. I've never been one for cutting straight. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's going to be on the inside anyway, Karen. All right. Oh, now i got to cut this. There we go. So, again, I will use glue dots. And just go down the row trying to finish up this roll because I don't know what happened to the box. And I don't know what happened. I do know what happened. The little cardboard thing fell off and I spent a good part of an hour trying to get it put back in until I just decided. It didn't need to be done and threw it away. All right, so we are going to, get out of your way. We are going to, actually, I'm going to give it a little room so I can cut that little triangle crooked part off. And you want to let it go down the center. And then we can cut pretty. Oh, it's going on the inside. All right, so we did that. Now we are going to glue these guys on the inside. And again, you can do the little curly thing. And we can... Put more glue dots. So leave me in the comments. Do you guys use like um, the green glue? Do you use glue dots? Do you use the new seal or the seal plus? Let me know because I seriously use the seal plus because um, I ran out of it twice and then put another order in and forgot it then. And then my daughter just joined. Um, I don't know how long she's gonna do it, but her um, she has a new job, and one of the girls there, um, she is a crafter, so I don't know, maybe she could just tap into that. All right, so the other thing you wanna do is try to keep See, if I push this here, you're going to see it. Oops, you'll see it. So try and stay right about that line because you're not really going to be carrying it by the handle. Um, like I said, it's something cute for older kids, although um, my, my kids would seriously and have seriously asked that we hide eggs for them. Now, my daughter's 30 and getting married. My son is 21. He lives outside the house. Actually, she rents a room from him in his house. And my other son is 27. And it's like, really? And they are dead serious. Okay, last thing we're going to do is on the top and the bottom, we are going to run this DSP around it. By the way, this is the colors that I, not this blue, this was from a couple of years ago, but the bumblebee, the cinnamon something, and the magenta madness are all the in colors that will be staying until next year. All right, so maybe I'll just do blue dots all the way around. And because you guys don't have to watch me glue, but you know what's funny is I'll watch YouTube videos and, you know, you hear them saying, you know, oh, my, I, I didn't mean to take this long. This is a quick and easy card you can do. And I'm like, totally, slow down. I want to see what you're doing. And they don't. All right. I'm just, just let's, let's just take our time. We're crafting. Why are we rushing? Doing what we love to do. 
So we are, one strip has taken us around two and a half sides. So this should just be the only other part we need. And we will again glue dot. But anyway, let me know about that if you want in the um, comments. If you like when demonstrators go fast or would you like me to not talk, which that can't happen because it's just not my nature. <laughs> so if you want to watch somebody um, craft without talking, this is not the place for you. But if you don't mind and you like what I do, um, please subscribe to my channel if you want. If you think it's good and, and you honestly feel that way, you could also hit the like button, which apparently is very important in trying to get your, um, your channel or whatever you call what this is. Um, if you want to get people to come and eventually, you know, get enough um, people to watch so that you can actually make money on YouTube, which to me sounds like a million miles away. And um, one of the things is being consistent, and I really plan on doing that. I plan on at least three videos a week, but I just can't do it until the wedding is over. I'm going to do the best I can, and I'm hopefully going to be able to make a bunch of videos and then just um, be able to release them a couple of times a week. And um, there are people that do want to see uh, me make the flowers for the wedding. They are wood flowers. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, which I never did till we went to a bridal show. And there's a company called Sola Wood Flowers. And that's where we got all the flowers. And, you know, I have like $500 worth of flowers upstairs in my daughter's old room. But yet, we don't need all the things that we needed before. Because there were no bridesmaids except for her maid of honor. So, I don't know, maybe I will make them for people. Who knows? Nobody might even not want to watch it. So I will do that, and if you're interested, come by and check that out. But if you're not, don't worry about it. All right. So when I designed this basket, I um, didn't think there was any way it was going to be actually be able to work. And when it did, I was just so proud of myself. So, And I do love it more with the basket embossing, which again, I don't have it, but I might just go on to uh, Facebook and um, go on the In Search Of. There are a lot of those sites. If you're looking for something, um, then people who have it and want to sell it will do that. Well, all right, we are at the portion of our program where we need to uh, do a greeting and what I th think I'm gonna do I have my little double scallop punch and I think I'm gonna do the scallop in this and the um, image or the wording or the whatever in this so I need something long, which might only be this that will fit because it also has, I'm doing welcome spring, I guess. Um, but there is also Easter is a lovely reminder of new beginnings and may the new life of spring bring you joy. So those are the other two. So I think welcome spring is gonna be my only option here. And I know I have it because I'm looking for my uh, Stampin' little guy. And I said, oh, don't forget to put that up, Karen. You don't want to be running around looking for that. And I said, oh, look, it's right here. And now it's gone. 
Oh my gosh, one of these days, I, and you know, I probably, oops, sorry, Bay. my dog is sitting next to me. And, oh, look, here it is. This is a, I believe, a D block. Yes, it is, a D block, which you don't need because we're just doing this little guy. I need to put my little pictures on, I haven't done that. And I just re-inked all of my memento. Oh, here's one, because I can't color unless I use the memento. Right, Gunner, what are you doing over here? You haven't had, oh look, here's my green group. That will like the narrow. All right, so we're not gonna use that. Let me use this. I don't know if I put enough ink in it, too much. Something like not enough. Okay, so we're gonna stamp that. Oh yeah, that's not good. I think I'm pushing too hard. Has anybody had this happen to them? If you have, all you have to do is, and you can do it with a craft knife, you can, and it's it's a little scary, but you can do it. Just cut, just cut a little bit of the rubber, where are we? A little bit of this rubber is what was making this line above the welcome. And I think I just put my elbow in the ink. But, so, if you just trim it just a bit, it will take care of it. So let's try again. See, look at that. As opposed to that. Which way are we going? This way. Bailey, no barking. No. What does no mean? All right, last time. Oh, more. All right, I think my, I'm gonna stick with this one that's not perfect, but it looks good. And I am gonna cut it. Bailey, do you wanna go in timeout? Do you wanna go in timeout? No barking. My dog does go in timeout. I think I've shown it on a few videos. Um, Sometimes she will do something wrong and she knows she did and she will put herself in timeout. But she will stay there till I tell her she can come out. The other one, yeah, he, he is a whole different kind of bug. All right, so what I'm trying to do is um, center this in my oval. Sometimes if you just wet your finger a little, oh shoot. If this happens, and I was more prepared, I would have a little post-it note with me because you can put that on and there's something for you to hold on to. Either this is gonna be crooked or I'm gonna get up and get a post-it note, which is probably what's gonna happen. Oh, I think that's good. There we go, and then we are going to do a piece of the pink. We can cut that into, ooh, never, never, never make, um, do any kind of scrapbooking or, I don't know if you guys saw this video, but this is a, um, a fun fold, it's made with tags, and um, that is, I think, two videos before this one, if you ever wanted to check it out. All right, and now we're gonna do a scallop in the solid pink. These um, punches, I'm sorry to say, you could only get in, um, I can't think. In the free stuff that just expired, um, it'll come to me any minute. And when it does, I'll let you know. 
So, um, okay, it's not counting to me. It will, though. We're not going to worry right now. So I'm going to put a couple of blue dots to hold. I can never tell if I'm in the screen or not. Um, there we go. And there we go. And you can either put it on your basket, which pick your front, which I think. Yeah, that'll be the back. I don't know. This is going to be the front. So we are going to, well, I was planning on popping it up. See that you, I make a list and I look at it and I look at it and I say, okay, what else do I need? Because I, uh, well, maybe we're not popping it up. Oh, Lord. See, baby, I got my dimensionals. So, just gonna use two. Oh, I know what I was gonna tell everybody. One of um, another demonstrator, her name is Dina something. She's under the Creativity Cave. And every month she does a bingo where you sign up and it's $35 and she makes cards between the bingo playing. So she makes a card, does bingo. And what it is is you pick um, five numbers of, you know, whatever you want. You register the $35 and then um, we play bingo and it's like, if you got one number, there are no letters really, but if you got one number, you type in a B. If you got two, you type in a B I until, you know, then when someone wins. And the prizes are incredible. One of the prizes last month was the entire fine art suite the paper, the stamps, the everything, which was like a hundred and something dollars. And she does it five times. And, um, and so I ended up winning last week and I don't know what I was thinking, but I picked a stamp set that forever I was saying, no, oh, I'm not really, that's just not speaking to me. Well, guess what prize I chose because I panicked under pressure and yeah, yeah that's what it was. And usually, you know, the first person who wins gets to choose the first gift or prize. And I didn't take that because I already have it. And I didn't take something else. And I don't know why, because I hadn't bought it yet. But the um, it would have been good had I chosen the butterfly new set. But since then, I've gotten mine. And I have a stamp set I didn't have, but I think I'm going to give it away as a gift because um, I can buy it with my discount if I, and I just, it really didn't do anything for me. And it's a pretty set. I'm not saying that. I'm just, I don't know. All right, so I have no idea how long to cut these, but I like to measure the first time so I know if I need to go uh, longer or if I cut way too much ribbon. So I have cut 10 and a half inches of ribbon and we are going to tie this on either side. Okay and this is like that thing that everybody says oh I can tie such great bows when I'm not you know people aren't watching me and yeah, I can never tie good bows. And I just found out in the cleaning of my craft room, it's not much easier with a Band-Aid, I gotta say. Um, I found out I have a uh, bow making jig thing. Who knew? Uh, 
All right, I messed up. I must have stopped bleeding by now. I can use my thumb. Oh yeah, that's just good. Hang on, just washing it a little bit. Bailey, did you say hi? Did you say hi to the people? Huh? Did you say hi? This is Bailey. Say hi. You helping? Okay, go lay down. All right. I think uh, he plays the commercial where the mom is reading a book and her son comes in and yells from the other room. I cut myself and she said, um, Band-Aids are in the cupboard or whatever. And the kid says, it's bleeding. And she didn't say anything. He said, oh, no, I'm bleeding. And she said, oh, the Band-Aids are in the cupboard. And then he said, he says, really bad. And he said, if the mother doesn't move, she says, take two. I don't know what the commercial's for, but I do think it's hysterical. All right, I'm just fiddling with it. And I think that's as good as it's going to get. Cut this and cut that. And 10 inches look to be great. So let's try that again. Right. So this is, I should have said this too, is um, the Magenta Madness. And all of these in colors have this, um, I don't know if it's like a grow green kind of ribbon, but um, I love them. And they all have one for each color. Like this is the bumblebee. And also I thought I'd give you a little tip that um, if you, when you are gonna put your, tape, your ribbon away, um, instead of getting a pin and it'll fall out in your drawer or wherever you keep, just stick a glue dot right any, wherever your thing ends. And then just stick that right there. And it keeps it neat and tidy in your drawer or wherever it is that you keep ribbon. thought that was a fascinating tip. I think it was Jan B. I don't know if you know her. But she told us about that. She gave a tour of her craft room. And I thought, that's a brilliant idea. And I love it. I, I had all of my ribbon, like, on the two drawers that are, like, sitting on the floor in my craft room. They're, like, the Ikea drawers. And so um, Alyssa, the girl that comes to help me, she had the bright idea to move it up so that I don't have to bend down and try and you know, my hands and knees looking for the ribbon I like. And I love it. I don't have to get a flashlight. I don't have to worry if I'm going to be able to get up once I get down there. It's wonderful. All right, well, this is going to have to be it. I'm going to keep it long because I didn't, I'm going to do it again. This is the last time, I promise. I didn't make sure it was even when I started. So, of course, I'm going to not have enough. All right, here we go. Last time. And. All right, well, that's a little better. I'll end up fixing it, don't worry. This one doesn't have blood on it, so I might give it to someone. <laughs> All right, so here is our basket. And we have the option here of uh, a bunny with a basket and flowers or a Peter Rabbit, which I can't do that to you guys. If you don't have it, that would be mean. All right, so I am going to use the bunny and possibly the basket and maybe even some flowers. I doubt I'm gonna use all these. I just thought I'd pull them out anyway. 
All right, welcome spring, you're done. And in comes the bunny. Now, the only thing about this set is they do not have dies to go with them. So I was fussy cutting, which I like to do. I can sit mindlessly and do that to my heart's content. But when you're making a video, I should have, um, just in case, I should have done this before, but I didn't, and I apologize. I'm not going to do the egg basket yet. Or maybe I'll do two egg baskets, one on each side. Let's do that. Let's just be different than everyone else. And... And this is not going to be that hard to cut around. Well, it will be because I can't find my smaller scissors. And I can't find my new favorite, almost cut off my finger scissors either. Oh, hell yeah. All right. So we could put a basket on each end. That would be cute. Oh, maybe we're bleeding again. All right. So maybe we'll do one since I'm... Maybe needing stitches. Uh, I also, uh, you guys let me know if you leave a comment. And I would really love the comments. Tell me what you hate. Tell me what you like. I can only do what you want when you tell me. Um, what was I saying? Oh, some people like a big white um, border around their stamps. And... I don't think I do. I'm just wondering what you guys think. Just, you know, if you're feeling like it. All right. Now I have my blends. I know you're going to spill. Have my blends so we can... I was trying to put them in certain places and I was thinking I would do um, like pastels in one container and um, neutrals in an, you know, something like that. Because granted, they have not apparently been stored like that because here are some pretty colors also. So let's use a pool party and lovely lipstick. Wordy Flamingo and Dark Purple Posy. That's the mailman, honey. Yeah. Oh, we're going to need a yellow. So, I don't think we're going to need to shade anything. And I'll probably just color the basket brown. But, we'll see. Oh, broke apart. This is one of those things where you don't pick it up by the handle. All right, Easter basket, wrong one. So I think we can make like a, a yellow egg. My poor, my poor kitchen table is gonna be a disaster by the time I move back, move five feet into that room because um, I don't put anything down and then I just stick stuff to it, but Guess what? We'll take that off. Yes, ladies, undo. Undo, undoes all of your mistakes. Yeah, I'm not going to shade these. And purple, yellow. Guess we need a blue. And everyone, a lot of demonstrators use the other end. I use the brush end with the point, because you can get into little places that you really can't um, with the, the fatter end, what they call it the skinny end. I don't need bronze, but we will use soft suede. Unless there's a lighter one. Oh, soft suede it is. Ooh, soft suede is dark. 
So we will be changing to something else. Wow, this is dark. Probably because it says soft suede dark. That probably should have tipped me off. But it didn't. Bailey, do you want to go in time out, honey? I don't know why you do. Just leave it the way it is for now. I have a whole nother box of these. I don't know where they are, which is a shocker. All right, so what I will do once I, you know, fix this is just put one on either side. I might actually um, get a circle punch and make, or circle die, we sell both, um, and put it around it and do it, and I will post it with um, with the new uh, thing all done. So let's see if we need some sort of glimmer or glitz. Uh, let's see, we could do some, I think we might need something bigger. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but your, um, when you buy your pearls or whatnot from us, Stampin' Up, you can color those with your um, blends markers to whatever color you want them to be. So that is something that's kind of cool. Uh, I think I maybe will just put some shiny gilded gems on there. And I will list everything that I used down below until I have time to really sit down and figure out how to start my blog. And you know, the thing is, is I had a blog for 10 years and somehow I erased it. I didn't mean to, but I did. And um, that's my hokey pokey stick. Uh, okay, don't have it. Um, I forget what I was saying. I'm sure it was important, but I'm just going to put a couple little jewels here and there. Oh, you know that's going to bug me. What was I going to say? Maybe I'll use this one as the exclamation point. So it just adds a little bit of interest. So ladies, gentlemen or anybody who's watching. So we have our first one, and this one is the cinnamon cider, little bows on the back. We have this one, which I believe is pool party, um, and this was from a couple of years ago. And this one is magenta madness, and it we just made. And somewhere is my bumble my bumblebee, the poor thing that's bloodied and not finished. But basically, like I say, just fold them in or out because they're going to get covered with the DSP design. Uh, specialty paper. And then once these are all bent, you know, you're just at the decoration state. Um, I will tell you that these eggs are from Amazon. Um, they have, oh, I dragged out these yellowy ones for here. Um, they, I got them from Amazon, um, and I keep them with my little props. Um, I don't eat them, and because I am really a serious chocolate, um, what do you call it when you won't eat any chocolate, but the one you like. That's what I am. Like if it's not Dove chocolate, I could be having a chocolate attack and I need it so bad and I won't eat it. Because clearly I cannot be, sorry about that. 
I cannot be wasting calories on chocolate that I don't like. And um, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but so anyway, so if you um, like this video, I would love it if you would um, just click on it that you like it. And again, if you want to leave me a comment, which you didn't like or did like, um, and if uh, you leave a comment and share it, and then you got to let me know that you shared it because I wouldn't be able to find it. Um, and I will be having a um, drawing for, it'll be a couple of spools of um, Stampin' Up! ribbon and probably a pack of gems. And um, I'll see what else I can pull out to give away. So I hope you enjoyed it. And again, um, if you do not already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be yours and I will spoil you rotten. Um, and if you don't want me to be yours, that's, I get that. So, um, I think, I thought I had more notes to talk about, but. Oh, my, um, hostess code for the month is GHPQ7TN4, and I will put that in the link. Um, and that's the only way I can tell that you've bought something because for every $50 that you spend, I will be sending you a gift. Um, and I think that's it. So, oh, this is what we're gonna make, I think tomorrow, hopefully. And it's just a little, little clutch bag that is held on. And this is, I mean, this is gonna be a great Mother's Day gift box. You can put like a scarf in there. Um, you could put gift card, you know, a gift certificate to a restaurant because, you know, we're all dying to go out to a restaurant somewhere. Um, and I think that's it. So hopefully I'll get the video either made tonight or tomorrow morning. Hopefully I will get it up before tomorrow. And I really will try. And if I don't, I apologize. I just have, I gotta get my taxes done and to the tax guy so he can do them. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So, sorry, oh, cover you up. So thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope you um, enjoyed our little basket making and I hope you have a great day. And I will, um, you will see me because Clearly, I can't see into the future and look at my phone and say, anyway. All right, so have a great rest of the day, and I hope that you'll stop back tomorrow. And please remember, leave a comment and share this video, and you will uh, be put into a drawing, and you will get some fun little gifts from me. So have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.